my name is Caitlin Hoshender and I'm currently a student at Iowa State University studying horticulture. Today I'm going to talk to you about Helianthus anus, which is the common sunflower. Enjoy! This annual grows in the summer and can get up to 10 feet tall and 8 feet wide. The current world record for tallest sunflower is 8 meters tall, or 26.25 feet. The sunflower gets its name from the Greek word helios, meaning sun, and anthos, the Latin word, meaning flower. Sunflowers have a large head that resemble the sun. This is an easy indicator to remember that sunflowers prefer growing in direct sunlight. Sunflowers also come in many shades of red, yellow, orange, and even pink. Helianthus typically has a dark brown, dark purple, or light green center. This portion of the plant will often mature into edible seeds and is frequently fed on upon by birds and other critters. Our seeds are often sold whole to be eaten as a snack or to be processed into sunflower seed oil. This oil is frequently used in cooking and is one of the main ingredients in Lay's classic potato chips. The seeds can also be processed into sunflower butter. This is a great alternative to peanut butter for those who may be allergic. Sunflowers have a coarse pubescence all around the base and the stem of the flower. This can even be seen throughout the leaves. The leaves on the sunflower are alternating, medium green and heart shaped. They have coarse serration around the edges and can get to be a foot in length. To grow sunflowers from seed, plant approximately one and a half feet apart in a moist to well-drained area. Some of the taller varieties of Helianthus may need staking. Some common pests for the sunflower include wireworm, sunflower root weevil, sunflower beetle, painted lady butterfly, and grasshoppers. The most common disease found in sunflowers is powdery mildew. This disease looks as if somebody sprinkled baby powder all over the leaves. Find you have a pest problem, try using foliar insecticides, removing some of the weeds or debris from around the plant, or simply plant later in the summer. If you have a disease problem such as powdery mildew, try removing some of the plants to get better air circulation. This U.S. native is one of the most recognizable and widely known annuals. It continues to bring a little bit of sunshine to people all across the world. Try growing Helianthus anus in your garden today.